Hey guys, what is up? It's Moose with Mildred. Welcome back to the channel. Recently, I just did another experiment. You need to watch that video before you even think about finishing this one or even clicking ahead and ignoring me. Trust me, you'll thank me later. I'm gonna link that video down in the description box or see if my technical skills are enough to put it like right here, you know, maybe like somewhere over here somewhere, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah! I bought a Fujifilm Instax Mini 9 camera off of the website Wish. Yes, I actually did pull the trigger on a cheap website like that. No, this video is not sponsored by them. I wish. Haha, <laughs> you see the pun I did there? <laughs> oh! I really just did it to see if there really was a cheap dupe between the two of them because I know sometimes buying a camera outright isn't always an option for some people. I wanted to do this for you guys because I've noticed a lot of my subscribers don't own Polaroid cameras but are interested in this and so I thought this would be a stepping stone that y'all could eventually use or work your way up to purchasing one or you could use this as just something to play around with till you make your mind up. I'm serious as a heart attack. If you haven't watched that video you need to go watch it right now. But if you have you're awesome. You're golden. Let's keep watching. Moving on. And then this is my ocean blue one. So this is the one that I bought off of Wish. It is in cobalt blue. Appearance checks out. Everything looks normal or at least that's what they want you to think. So like my last video where I compared the 9 to the 11, I took 10 photos in 10 different scenarios and I just matched them up and just went out into the world and just took photos. Same situation, just not as many photos. I'm just gonna say that was a beast of a video to edit. But I'm telling you, that was a lot to edit on an iPhone. So for this one, instead of taking 10, we're going to do five. So once again, I wrote it on a notebook. I'm gonna get my little piece of paper out. These are the topics that we actually covered. A close up, far away distance photo, a landscape or scenic portrait. And fifth one is just anything with a decent amount of detail in it. The colored film is gonna represent the Wish camera and then the plain white one is just gonna be my nine. <laughs> here today. Here's the Wish one. It doesn't have any film yet, but we're going to put some in there. So the very first photo we took was in a park. It was kind of like a metal bridge, had a waterfall. Not nothing too serious, but it was still very pretty. As you can see in the waterfall photo, the nine turned out pretty decent. It's a little dark, but I think that was kind of offsetted by the rapids in the water. I think it initially picked up on that light. Some parts of the trail I was at was rather sunny, but in this photo, it came out just a little bit dark, but I think it was just more or less the background and because it was shady from trees. But can we just address the wish photo? I've never had any problems with film like this before. It didn't turn out at all. It, It's black. I have nothing nothing to work with, but we are staying optimistic. We didn't really go too many places for the sake of this photo shoot, but we did go further on down the trail and found like a cool tunnel. The tunnel was a bridge above and then like the little tunnel had like water and then there's a little walking path that you could go under. There is a crazy big echo in the tunnel. I, me and Coleman sounded like a bunch of idiots. <laughs> So I sat on the railing on the edge of the tunnel, kind of did this on purpose. You could see the outline of my head and my silhouette and then there's the cast of the green behind me. I didn't take this photo of my brother did, but I mean he did pretty well for what I asked him to do. On my actual camera it looks different and then when you look at the photo it's a completely different story. And yet again, the picture is black. It's just black. It is what it is. But overall, I think this photo is pretty cool. It's not one of my favorites, but I just like that the outline. And then you can see the cast of the brush and all the green lush, lushness behind me. Yet again, we're still further walking down this stinking trail. We came across a power station. And I know this isn't really something a lot of people desire to take a photo of but I just really thought it was interesting, all the intricate details, and I thought this would be perfect for our detail photo. When we took this photo, it was super bright at that point in time. Even the clouds had like 
were intense like bah. I really like that it has a bluish purple tint but the only thing that I wish was a little more different in this photo was I wish that there you could see more blues coming out from the sky but I can speak for the nine again as far as wish as you guessed it we got nothing, completely nothing. We actually headed home and I found another power station along the road and I decided to take another one. This probably has to be the best photo set I got for this video. I just love how it turned out. I love the blue, how it's popping out behind the power station. And this one you can clearly see a whole lot more detail and it just, mm, yes, yes, it looks good. This fourth photo is actually at Hobby Lobby. I know this is kind of an old trend, but a lot of people were taking the flowers that were cascading, looking luscious and pretty, and they'd use it as like the backdrop for their Instagram or like Pinterest photos. I just kind of walked around the aisles for a little while. I didn't really know what I wanted to take a photo of. So I just kind of picked a orange flower that I kind of liked. They didn't have many of them, but they had a few. Since the orange was there, I also added some purple in the background, but I actually took my flashlight. If you ever need some Polaroid tips, I have a video on that too. But one of my tips that I recommend is taking your smartphone flashlight and shining it close to the object and it gives it a little bit of highlight or a little bit of key light to brighten it up. I love the difference between the purple and the orange. I think they just really pop together. Even though you can't notice the purple, the orange is very prominent in this photo. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I really didn't know what to do for this photo. I really didn't have an exact setting or place that I wanted to take this photo. So I just said, screw it, mom, come take this photo of me. This photo I am posing with a Capri Sun. Um, no rhyme or reason, I just kind of told her, just click a photo, just make sure my, my noggin's in it. I look like an alien, I look like E.T. Besides looking like a crazy person and that I look like I just walked out of an insane asylum. The photo is just a tiny bit overexposed, but you can really see the color coming from the Capri Sun and my eyes are crazy blue in this photo. So I still had a little bit of film left and I decided to take a selfie after mom took my photo and went inside. I still look a little crazy, but Eh. I enjoyed doing this little mini photo shoot. I think it was a lot of fun. I got to spend a little bit of time with Coleman and then I got to experiment some new ideas or topics that I've been wanting to do. I don't recommend it. It's kind of a little hard to speak on behalf of Wish only because I used two packs of film on this, but they all came out black. Just to clear the air and to address this issue, I have never had a single pack of film turn out all black. None developed nada zilch zero nothing showed up so this leads me to believe that i don't think this is a coincidence or an anomaly or whatever you call it i think it's the camera it is a little discouraging because in my unboxing video i actually spoke very highly of it there weren't any differences i didn't really notice anything that looked off or looked like it would be a red flag for this kind of situation i think it is best to just outright buy one that is not refurbished and is straight new out of the box came from the factory no one touched it i'm sorry wish i'm sorry i give this camera a two out of ten but in the end it just did not perform to my expectations if you like this video please comment like and subscribe please comment below any future video ideas you would be interested in me doing or who knows maybe there's like different websites similar to wish that i could buy polar cameras off of and try them and i'll see y'all in the next video bye it's not